Morning, sir. Hey. Morning, Lester. Looks like the cleaners overslept again. Difficult to get the staff these days. Drugs were delivered last night, about half ten. Final deal went down about two. Runner knocked off at 2.30. No activity since. What about Jimmy Mac? Inside with the lovely Rochelle Chapman. I call Max. What are you doing? Well, I didn't have breakfast. You think this is edible? I think it's disgusting, even for you. You're right. Sarge, Banksy. Yes, Banksy. Drugs inside. Get breakfast. All quiet. We're on. They got delivery last night. Who's in the house now? Jimmy Mack and Rochelle Chapman. That's all. The raid's on. Excellent. Banksy, any sign of life, any movement at all, you give me a call, all right? Look out for us in about 90 minutes from now. Sixty Faith Street, an address known only too well to us because of this low life here. James Makovsky, otherwise known as Jimmy Mack, he's been dealing out of it for the last two months. Heroin, mainly, and for those who can't afford the real thing, diazepam. Like these? They'll be found in some of Jimmy's customers when we pick them up. As you know, Max and Joe have been carrying out an oboe on the place so they can gather surveillance evidence and work out the routines. Joe? Sure, OK. Hunter drives up. Gives his cash to a runner waiting in the street. Runner goes to the house, drops off the cash, collects the drugs, and ferries them back to the punter. So the whole deal lasts seconds. The runner is carrying the drugs for what? Half a minute, tops. How many runners are there? Uh, usually one, busy times two or three. Forget the runners, we're after bigger fish. We want three things from this op. One, Jimmy Mack and his business brought down for good. Two, the consignment of drugs that was delivered last night, about two kilos of heroin plus pills. It's worth about 30 or 40 grand. What's the third thing you said, oh, three? Yeah, we want the guy who bankrolls Jimmy Mac. Do we know who he is? No one does. Well, if they do, they're not telling us. But if we can catch Jimmy with a shitload of heroin, maybe we can persuade him to give us his fairy godfather. We think the guy behind Jimmy is running other dealers in Canley. Over the last two months, Barton Street has shut down two operations exactly like this one, and in both cases, the dealers in the house refuse to talk. They took the fall themselves, rather than give up their boss. And when we go in, there'll be two people in the house, Jimmy Mac and his girlfriend, Rochelle Chapman. If we're lucky, they'll both be asleep, but we can't be sure, so we need to go in hard and fast, just in case they decide to flush the drugs down the toilet. Right, that's it. Let's go. What? You really like this, don't you? Like it? I love it, don't you? Ah, I suppose it's... it's uh... That's what it is. Too much of what we do is complicated. Rules and regulations, PC, bull. Kicking a door down and arresting the bad guy. What's not to lie? You're asking seven. You're asking three, are What's up, Mattel? Your Rochelle's leaving the house. Is she carrying anything? Not that I can see, but I can't really tell. Do you want me to have her stopped? If he does, we'll have to be quick. Let her go. Get her uniform unit to stop her well away from the address. A nick of a possession of heroin, then take her down to station for a strip search. That way she won't be able to warn Jimmy Mack. Well done. Let's hope there's no more surprises, eh? Right, all ready? Yeah. Right, you two, cover the front. Stay out of sight until we're in. Anyone comes out, it'll be Jimmy Mack. So grab him, right, Sarge? Okay, it's fine. Only one body in the house now, but he could be up and about, so we need to be quick and quiet. Sarge, wait! What is it? I think I've trodden in something. Roger, get a grip! It's all over the place. Are you sure they haven't got a dog? Well, the app is the first I've heard. Well, by the look of what is left behind, it's a big one. Rottweiler, Alsatian. Why didn't they show up on the obo? I think we should get the fire extinguisher. No, they'll just make them angry. I've seen on YouTube. Sarge, I think we should get the dog handlers in. Oh, for goodness sake, get in there! Well, if it isn't that, I'm a basketball. Do 
James Makovsky. Michelle. I'm arresting you on suspicion of supplying Class A drugs. I'll make it simple, mate. Get some clothes on, because you're nicked. The girlfriend's vanished, Gus. No, no, you never found her. I'm bringing Jimmy Mack in myself, leaving Joey to do the search. Thanks, Gov. Yeah, I'll pass it on. Pat on the back from the DI. Selfie, mate. Great team here, mate. I make you look good. That's what it means. Where's Rochelle? What have you done with her? So I found these in the kitchen, Sarge. Diazepam. Those are mine. Personal use. I lead a very stressful life. You soon will do. Have you finished with us, Sarge? We're up on patrol now. That's fine. Roger? Yeah. Watch out for big dogs. Ah, oh, very funny, Sarge. Hey. Okay. Right, um, any sign of the heroin yet? Not yet, but it's early days. Okay, fine. Give me a call when you find it. Joe, you stay here with Terry, help with the search. Banksy, come with me. See ya. See you later. It's the kind of job I like. All done and dusted before breakfast. Don't mention breakfast when Terry's about. It looked like a big dog. From its feces, I mean. You can easily tell. Can we talk about something else, please, Roger? Sierra Oscar 1 from Sierra Oscar. Thank God for that. Sierra Oscar from Sierra 1, go ahead. 21 Atley Street, Maycroft Estate. Female distressed on balcony calling for help. LAS are attending this location. Report of a sick child. Show us dealing, please. It all depends what they were feeding you. Well, well, well. What is it? I think I figured out why Rochelle cleared out. Right. See that blue cross? Mm -hmm. I think she's pregnant. Police! You open the door, please. No, I, did, I haven't called for the police. I'm just expecting an ambulance. Well, I'll be here any minute. Uh, your name is? I'm Fran Morris. What's the it's my son Noah. I just think he might have taken something. He's in here. And I just came in to get him up and I found him like that. Do you know what he's taken? No. He's breathing. Hey, Noah, my name's Sally and this is Roger. We're going to make you a bit more comfortable, all right? Diazepam. Same as the ones at Jimmy Max. Anything? Listen, Joe, you can search this place till you're blue in the face. You ain't gonna find anything. You better call Max and tell him. I'll call him, but he's not gonna be very happy, is he? We haven't got the drugs. We haven't got a case. Either Jimmy Max flushed the heroin down the toilet and pretended to be asleep, or, and I hate to say this, Gov, Rochelle took it out. Well, which one is it? Well, I don't think it's Jimmy, Gov, because he's as baffled as we are. He didn't even know that Rochelle had gone. Maybe he's a good liar. He's not. He's about as sharp as a marble, which is another reason I'm sure he's not a boss. So you're telling me that Terry and Banksy watched Rochelle walk out of the house carrying the heroin? They didn't know that she was carrying it. Yes, Gov, that's what it looks like. We've no reason to think that Rochelle's involved with Jimmy's dealing. She's his girlfriend and a small-time user, and that's all she is. Apart from pregnant, we found a test kit during the search, and I don't think that Jimmy knows. Well, that would explain why she run out on him. I took the heroin. You can run a long way on 40 grand. Anyway, we've circulated Rochelle's details, and Terry and Banksy are tracking her on CCTV. I just thought you'd like to know. Sally and Roger are down to St Hughes with a 12-year-old boy, and Noah Morris, who's OD'd on diazepam. But they think the pills he took came from the house on Faith Street. Noah Morris? Is that Fran Morris's son? Yeah, that's right. Uh, is he going to be all right? They're not sure yet. You know this kid? Uh, yeah, I arrested his mother, Fran, about 18 months ago, former prostitute in possession of heroin, and she swore she was going to get clean for the sake of Noah. And you believed her? Convicted for soliciting and possession. Over. Received. She's got previews. She's going to be all right. <laughs> you know, the nurse said that uh, we were lucky to find them pills. Did she tell you what they were? Yeah, Dyer's pen. Mother's little helper. You need a little help sometimes, Fran. What are you saying? Where did Noah get the pills from? Well, not from me. I don't know. He must have found them in the street somewhere because I don't take Dyer's about him. I, I don't take anything. We've got two convictions for possession of heroin, one with intent to supply and several for soliciting. Yeah, that was over a year ago. Look, I've cleaned up since then, all right, and I've been clean for months. Look, ask my drugs worker. Here, I'll give you her number. They weren't my pills, I swear. I don't know where he got them from. All right, we need to search your flat. You need to be there when we do so. Well, no, I don't even know her. Here, give me it back when you're done, because you aren't going to find anything, because there's nothing to find. Yeah. 
Yeah. These look like they're from the same batch found at Jimmy Max. I liked Fran. I honestly thought she was going to make it. It's a pity. Oh, any luck with the drugs worker? She's got her mobile off. I left a voicemail. Can you let me know if you find anything at Fran's flat? Sure. Thanks. Jimmy Max briefs arrived. We can interview him at last. Do we let Jimmy know that we haven't found any heroin? Let's keep him guessing about it as long as we can. I'm showing the suspect exhibit TP1. And we can prove that you were in the house when these deals were going down. As far as I can see, none of these photographs actually shows my client. All these deals and dozens more we've recorded are being done by you, Jimmy, using the runners as go-betweens. You can see I've got no choice. I confess. Jimmy. I've been dealing a bit of dope. Jimmy, please, stop pulling our chain. What? Don't pretend you're Mr. Nice. You ruin lives, you destroy people, you sell heroin. So can you prove that, Sergeant? So we picked up some of your customers walking away from the house. Most of them had heroin in their possession and the rest of them had diazepam. When I leave this police station, I will have these in my possession. Doesn't mean I bought them here. What exactly did you find at my client's house? How are you getting on with Rochelle? Why? What's it to you? You didn't have a row? Why are you asking me about Rochelle? She's not involved. Not involved in what? Anything. You didn't answer my question. Rochelle ran out on you this morning while you were asleep. She didn't run out on me. What did you find? Why did she leave? Popped out to buy ciggies. I don't know. Excuse me, I'd like to know what you found. Rochelle's pregnant, Jimmy. Did you know that? What? No. No! Sit down, Jimmy. Yeah. How do you know that? You don't know Rochelle. Pregnant. When you raided my client's house, did you find any drugs at all? We're still looking. The search isn't over. What have you found so far? The quantity of diazepam. Oh, diazepam. That's, uh, what? Class C. Two years for possession. Fourteen for possession with intent. Please, Sergeant, come on. You're whistling in the wind and you know it. Like a word with my client alone, please. Interview terminated at... Thanks for calling me back. Franz Drugs Workers has Franz tested every month voluntarily. Last test a week ago, clean as a whistle. I was telling the truth. I could find the drugs on the street. Not exactly a domestic goddess, is she? No, too busy studying to do any housework. Sociology, I did that. Yeah. Sally. Fran. Noah. And. It's Rochelle. Jimmy Mack's girlfriend. Yeah, well, I hate to agree with the opposition, Max, but Jimmy's brief is right. He's such a smug yet, too. No heroin, no case. If you don't find the heroin, you're gonna have to let Jimmy go. Sarge, wanna come see what we got? Please tell me this is gonna cheer me up. Maybe over the moon. All right, that's Rochelle leaving the house on Faith Street early this morning, taken by yours truly. There she goes. Okay, and? Right, this is CCTV at the corner of Faith Street and Talbot Lane. Now, she's a bit away from the house. She obviously feels comfortable, so... Have a look at this. That's got to be the smack, don't you think? Oh, I'd say so. We won't bore you with the rest of the journey, but she walks for about a mile. Bramble Road, Canley Fields, Westway Avenue. Are you watching Benny Hill? <laughs> so where did she go after that? We're not sure yet. Oh, she could have gone anywhere. You did well to track her that far. We well, you know where she went after that, don't we, Rog? Oh, we can make an educated guess, huh? We just searched Fran Morris's flat. We didn't find any drugs, but we did find this, Sarge. Now, that's Fran. Fran's son, Noah, who just OD'd on diazepam, and Rochelle. What are you saying, that Rochelle took the drugs to Fran's place? Looks like that to us, yeah. Well, Fran's not a user herself anymore. Her drugs worker says she's clean, at least she was a week ago. I want to talk to her. She's still at St Hughes? She will be, Sarge, yeah. Joe, you better come along. Nice work. Well done. Hello, Fran. Joe. Hi, Fran. I'm DS Max Carter. How are you feeling, Noah? A bit sick. Oh, yeah. Well, the doctor says it's going to be fine. They put a tube down my throat and pumped out my stomach. Don't they? Why did you take those pills? I don't know. I just wanted to see what they were like. Well, you know, kids, they'll try anything once. We need to ask you some questions, Fran. Do you think we can go somewhere a bit more, um... A bit more private. No. No, I'm not leaving, Noah. It won't take a minute. You can go with Joe and I'll stay with her. 
Yeah, come on, Fran, it'll be fine. So, uh, do you want to tell me where you found those pills? The street. The street, really? Just lying there? In a packet, in a bottle? Loose? My throat hurts. I'm not supposed to talk. You back on the drugs, Fran? No, Joe, I swear! I understand the pressures that you're under, so if you have been popping a few pills to help you relax. Oh, I haven't, all right? I don't touch drugs anymore! I fought really hard to get clean, and now I am forever. Did those coppers find anything in my flat? No, they didn't find any drugs, no. There was nothing to find. No, I picked them pills up in the street. Do you know James Makovsky? Jimmy Mac? No, I don't, I don't think so, is he? Sells smack out of a house on Faith Street. No, I don't know him. What about his girlfriend, Michelle Chapman? Why are you asking me all this, yeah? What's it got to do with me? I'm just going to go back to Noah. Stop lying, Francesca. We know that something happened this morning. We found this in your flat. I'd say you look pretty fond of her. I am. Yeah, she reminds me of me when I was her age. She's making the same mistakes. Getting into drugs and getting pregnant. How do you know about that? She's only just found out herself. Is that why she ran out on Jimmy Mac and came to you? Yeah, because I told her I'd take her in any time. I'll give her a safe place to go. Noah's having a nap. The nurse said that's good. Yeah. See, the problem is, Fran, that when she left Jimmy, she took his drugs. Forty grand's worth of smack and pills. She said that they'd pay for a new life for me and Noah and her and the baby somewhere. Far away from Sun Hill, you know. Michelle's a sweet kid, Joe, but she is a total flight. I was really angry. And I felt really sick when I saw all those drugs. Oh, God, I was so angry. Didn't you go to the police, Fran? Because Michelle's not a bad person, I Couldn't see her go down. And what have you done with the drugs? Well, we shall have to go out somewhere, so... I just told her to leave them with me and I flushed them down the bog. A smack, pills, all of it. Apart from just a couple of pills that must have fallen onto the bathroom floor because that's when they were found. You expect us to believe you flushed away 40 grand's worth of drugs? I don't care what you believe. Terry? It's the truth. I want you and Banksy to go to the Maycroft. The flat Roger and Sally were in earlier. Search it again. Rip the place apart if you have to. You don't want to change your story? No, I don't, because it's the truth. Right, OK, thanks, much. We don't have a key. Roger gave me in after the last search. So how's it going? Police, on the door! Who did this to you? He said... He said he'd kill me. Who did? <laughs> I got a good look at his back as he was running away, but his face... Probably I see one. You think it was Jimmy Mac's boss? Rochelle steals 40k's worth of his drugs. Then he tortures her to give her a very clear message not to do it again. Oh, I'd say it's a very strong possibility, yeah. What I don't understand is, how did he know that Rochelle took his drugs? How is she? Badly shaken, Guff, but we arrived on the scene before he had a chance to do any real damage. Near for me is checking her over now. If she says she's okay, I'm going to go and interview her with Terry. I'm hoping she'll feel grateful towards him for pulling her out of the fire. I wouldn't count on it, Sarge. She wasn't exactly chatty. Well, you already questioned her. We tried to get her to ID her assailant, but she refused, point blank. Too scared. She told us she got a call from someone asking for a meet. She said she didn't know who it was, but she went anyway. My guess is that she knew the caller wanted the drugs and she was hoping to do a deal. That's why she took him to Fran's flat, but when they got there, no drugs. Have we got a phone? Yes, Sarge. Pretty sure we have. Terry, how's Michelle doing? Is she up point of view? Great, I'll be down in five. Why don't we trace that call in? Sergeant. 
I didn't see him. You were face to face with him, Rochelle. While well, he burned me with his cigarette and threatened to kill me. So, like I say, I didn't see him. The heroin and the pills you stole from Jimmy, you took them to Fran Morris's place. We know that because we spoke to her in St. Hughes. What was she doing there? Fran's son, Noah. He swallowed some of those pills. Had to be rushed to A&E. Oh, no. Is he going to be all right? I don't know yet. But if you really do care about him and about Fran, you'll help us get those drugs off the streets. Why did you walk out on Jimmy Mack this morning? Is it because you're pregnant? How do you know that? Because we found the pregnancy test in the bin. <sighs> as soon as I knew, I was like... I can't live this life anymore. Where was Jimmy when you left? In bed, sleeping. I knew he wouldn't wake up. <laughs> Jimmy'd sleep through World War II. Okay. Tell us about the drugs. We watched you leaving the house, Rochelle. We know you had the drugs. We just want to know why you took them. I don't know. They were just there on the table. I knew they were worth a lot of money. So what, you just grabbed them on your way out the door, is that it? For the tape, please. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And what were you going to do with them? It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. I didn't, like, plan it or anything. So what did Fran say when she saw all that heroin? I've never seen her so mad. I thought she was going to... I don't know. state she was in, she could have done anything. And what did she do? Told me to take him back. I didn't want to. I couldn't face Jimmy. Fran was all set to take him myself, but... I got a call. Who from? Mate just walked by the house. Said she'd seen Jimmy in the back of a police car. So Fran couldn't take the heroin back? She was going a bit mental by then. That's when I decided to get out. Leaving the drugs behind? Well, Fran said she'd sort it. I don't know how. She told us she flushed them down the toilet. Tell us about Jimmy's boss. The one who set this whole thing up. The, one who... oh, the guy who did this to me? You think I'm stupid? You think I want more of it? Any joy? Not really. Too scared. But Jimmy? Or Jimmy's boss? Where is Jimmy? With his brief. Eager to answer our questions? I wouldn't say that, Sarge. When we broke into the flat, there she was, your girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Duct taped to a chair, blindfolded, burned, frightened. Lucky we got there when we did. Half an hour later, who knows what he might have done to her. Did you catch him? Jimmy and Jimmy, take it easy. They're just trying to wind you up. He's only telling your client what he's found. No, sadly, we didn't catch him. <laughs> so whose flat was this? It doesn't matter whose flat it was. How's Rochelle doing now? How do you think after an ordeal like that? Upset, shaken, terrified. Poor kid's expecting too, don't forget. Your child. Where is she? She's probably still here, but she's being bailed. Jimmy, if you done. If you'd like me to go and have a look with her, see if she's all right. No. No, thank you. It's OK. The pond scum will hurt Rochelle will catch him, Jimmy, depend upon it. But he's nothing. He's just a renter thug. Hired to terrify her and to give him back the heroin she took from your house. My client told you he has nothing to do with any heroin. Your client is lying and we know it. You know, Jimmy, if you weren't banged up in here, I'd say it was you who said that thug on Rochelle. No. No. It was your heroin she took. She's a good kid. I never hurt her. Who was it? Who does that heroin really belong to? Tell us, Jimmy. Who hurt Rochelle? Who's your boss? No comment. Do you think he brought his own gaffer tape with him, or do you think he found it here? Brought it. Women never have useful stuff like that. Are you still here? Where's Noah? What's going on? I just left him round the mic. What's happened? Check the last received call to Rochelle's phone. The suspect did call her. So what took you so long to trace him? He used an unregistered pay-as-you-go, so we had to use cell site analysis. Yes, yeah, show us the details. We're impressed. Sausage jokers, no me. Ryan Archer. There's an address. He's big, unpredictable, and he's got form for violence. The last copper that arrested him, Archer, bit his ear. 
So you might want to take backup. Great. Watch your ears. Right, you take the pack in case it does a run, eh? Yeah? Okay, you've heard what it's like, so be ready for anything. Oh. Uh, May I help you? Yeah, we have uh, look for Ryan Archer. Do you know? I'm Miss Gran. Oh, right. Uh, he's Ryan about, Mrs... Uh, Wilberforce. Yes, as a matter of fact, he is. Oh, could we have a word with him? Can't it wait? He's watching Danger Mouse and having a bite to eat with Tyson. Tyson? His brother. All oh, right. Um, no, it can't wait, Mrs. Wilberforce. We need to speak to Ryan now. Oh, well, come in. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, there's two constables at the door. Ryan Archer? Yeah? Who wants to know? Nice try, Tyson. Ryan on your feet, mate. You come down and lick with us. Don't even think about it. Don't find your nan, yeah? What is it? What's going on? We need to have a little chat with your grandson, Mrs. Wilberforce. Down the station. Nice and quiet now, Ryan. No trouble, no fuss. Better for all concerned, yeah? I'll keep it warm. Thanks very much for the herbal tea. Yeah, thanks a bunch. It's all right. I told you you wouldn't find anything, though. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Sorry. What do you think? Well, if she wants to go to drugs in a hurry, I'll get Fran. You start checking the bins. Take a seat. Fran? Oh, dirty nappies. You're wasting your time. It can't be that far down there, Roger. It was only thrown in this morning. Unless someone else got there first. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Well, I already told you. They're not in there. Bingo. Oh. Bit of a risk, wasn't it? Tossing 40 grand's worth of drugs down a rubbish ship? <sighs> now, we found the package and took the pills. I had to get him out of the flat, and I couldn't leave him. And the chute was the only place. Are you afraid the police might find it? What? Then I was afraid of everything. When were you going to retrieve them? <sighs> Sometime before Tuesday, I suppose, when they collect the bins. Tell me, Fran, were you going to unload the drugs as a job lot to a dealer, or parcel them up and sell them on the street? Oh, I was never going to sell them. First way safer, second way you make a lot more dosh. Which was it going to be? I would never sell that heroin, Joe. You've got to believe me. So what were you going to do with it, Fran? Give it back. Oh, yeah. 40 k's worth of prime smack, and you were going to give it away. No way! Back! What Michelle did was like suicide. She got no idea who she were ripping off. But you do. <laughs> The guy who that heroin belongs to who doesn't give a toss who he hurts all right badly. That's how he got where he is. Not talking about Jimmy Mack, then. Sounds like you know him, Fran. Not anymore. But you used to. When I was in that world, yeah. How do you know him? He was around then on the street. He saw me, he took a liking to me. Did you sleep with him? For money? And drugs? He liked me. He liked me a lot and he wanted to make it a regular arrangement. Exclusive too. And then he just... He turned vicious like that. My lip, that much heat bone. And you know, the worst thing is that he enjoyed it more than the sex. What was his name again? Do you think I want to be fished out the Thames? You change your mind? No, I, I need to find Michelle and all just to tell her to get out of some ill. I think she'll have left already if she's got any sense. Oh, trouble is she ain't. What's wrong? It's him. Who? 
Him. Oh, he's here. God, Joe, you never said he was going to be here. Ben and Nate brought him in. His name's Ryan Archer. He's the thug who assaulted Rochelle. Right. Is that Jimmy's boss? Frank? Oh, no. Joe, please don't make me do this. Is it him, Fran? Is it the guy in the suit? Vega? Jimmy Solissa? The man you saw is a solicitor, Fran. His name is Damien Dacre. He's Jimmy Max Brief, and he's been here most of the day. How can I go home now, please? No. We need to talk to you. He got away, didn't he? He was gone by the time we realised it was him. Did he see me? No, he didn't. I'm sure of it. Good, because if he did, I'm dead already. So, uh, Jimmy Max Brief, Damien Baker, what do you know about him? Nothing. Met him for the first time today. Do you see any ID? We never examine solicitors' IDs, you know that. Uh, what did he tell you? He was here for James Bukowski and he worked for Basin and Judd Solicitors. Can you call him and check his kosher? Is there a problem? I think there could be, yes. Right. Cheers. Why won't you talk to us, friend? You were chatty enough before. Excuse me. I've got a second. Basin and Judd solicitors, the firm Damien Doker gave us his employers, doesn't exist. And there's no solicitor registered anywhere with that name. He's not even a solicitor? No. Wouldn't look like it. She's telling the truth, isn't she? He's our man. I think so. I can hardly believe he's from. But he sat in on the interviews with Jimmy. He knows everything about the case. Everything we've got on him and, more importantly, everything we haven't. Not that this is any consolation, but this is not the first time he's pulled this stunt. Earlier in the year, a brief with the name of Damien Dacre represented two heroin dealers that wouldn't talk at Barton Street. And that's why they wouldn't talk. The boss was sitting next to me. So, uh, what are we going to do now, then? Get Banksy and Terry to interview Ryan Archer while we re-interview Jimmy Mack. Yeah. Can you get someone to have a look at the CCTV? See, See if there's a clear picture of his face, Nate and Ben already on it. Yeah, he's giving his head down, isn't he? Trying to avoid the cameras. Oh, stop it. You mind a bit? There. Gotcha. Right, now we just need the computer to do its magic. Yeah. So, tell us about the man who hired you to work over a shot, Chapman. Never heard of her. Jimmy Mack's girlfriend. The young pregnant woman that you taped to a chair and burnt with cigarettes on the Maycroft. Don't know what you're on about. When you asked us to call your solicitor, did you know who would turn up? You had no idea, did you? Must have been a shot for you. We have mobile phone evidence that places you at the scene. We've also got forensics. You shouldn't drop cigarette butts, Ryan. Didn't your grand tell you about littering? How did you feel, Jimmy? Watching your boss find out that Rochelle had taken his heroin? Did you know that he would send one of his heavies round to her? I mean, you must have known he'd do something bad. You left your fingerprints everywhere. All right, this case is literally done and dusted. They're going down for what you did to Rochelle for a long time. Now, what you need to ask yourself is, how can I make myself look a little bit better in front of the judge? Give us the man that hired you, Ryan. Tell us his real name, where to find him. That's the only thing that will help you now. If I was to do that, I'd be dead in a week. My gran and Tyson too, probably. So you might as well just take me back to my cell. You must really hate him for what he did to Rochelle. Give us his name, Jimmy. And we'll make him pay for it. Not saying anything. Yeah, well, somebody's got to talk to us, haven't they? They won't, because they're terrified to speak. If we don't ID this guy, we haven't got anything. 40 grand worth of his heroin guff. That's what we got. And the beauty part is he doesn't even know he got it. He thinks he's still out there. And what are we going to do with it? Offer it back to him. Sun Hill CID here, we've got your smack. Do you want to come by and pick it up? <laughs> no, no. We'll use Fran. 
Oh, no, Sarge. He fancies her. He doesn't know she's involved. She's perfect. So Fran calls him up and says, Hi, I've got your smack. Do you want to come by and pick it up? No, no, no. She doesn't mention the drugs. Not on the phone. She just says she wants to see him again. You wanted to ask him out on a date? He'll be suspicious. All Fran has to do is tell him the truth. Rochelle left the heroin with her. She hates the stuff. Now she wants him to have it back. No strings. If he takes it, we arrest him. Facial recognition ID'd him. We've got his form. Well, there's a novelty. His name really is Damien. Damien Tucker. His convictions read like a psychopath's checklist. His last was eight years ago for a malicious wounding, which he got a seven stretch for, but was out in three. Since then, nothing. If he gets thugs like Ryan Archer to do his dirty work for him now. And scares people into silence. Well, here's a detail you'll like. I spoke to his old prison governor. Now, while he was inside, Tucker was a model prisoner. And he took a keen interest in studying the law and the justice system. They thought he was a reformed prisoner, so they gave him early release. He took a big risk coming here then, didn't he? Well, he's a control freak, isn't he? Doesn't trust anyone. He needs to know exactly what's going on. And if you want to warn your lackeys into keeping their mouths shut, what better way is there than the guy on top of the chain sitting right next to you in the interview room? Well, we can't ask Fran to do this, Gov. It's just too risky. She's a single mother and she's got nowhere to think of, so just have to think of something else. Okay. Well, we need to get this guy off the streets. We could try a different way, but that might take weeks, months even, so we need to minimise the risks. Joe, Max, your job. Persuade Fran to help us. No way. No way. If Damien's inside, you'll feel much safer, Fran. No, I won't. No, I won't, because Damien's got... Well, I wouldn't exactly call him friends, but he's got people who do whatever he wants. So if he finds out that I help him inside, oh God, I would never be safe ever. I won't. And is that your last word? Yeah. Yeah. I can't, Joe. I'm sorry. What if we pay you? I can take you on as an informant. Get you two grand, maybe. Enough to get you out of Sun Hill. Too dangerous. We can arrange protection until you move. We could help you with a move too. We could move somewhere decent. Get a better life for Noah. Oh, I do want to get out of this dump. Well, there you go. Okay. I'll get it sorted. Hey, no. No, please, Bill, because I couldn't face him. I'd just fall apart. I think that's enough, sir. So. Okay. <clears throat> what happened to Noah when you went inside, Frank? I didn't go inside. The judge gave me a choice. So I went into rehab and no I went into temporary foster care. Well, you won't get a choice this time, Fran. Possession with intent, you'll go inside. I never meant to sell it, you know that! Forty grand's worth of smack. That's hardly personal use. You hid the drugs, you lied to us, you obstructed us the whole way down the line. You're doing it again now. I don't need Sit down, Fran. Sit down. i tell you something, I hope Noah likes foster homes because he'll be living in one. You are a piece of work, do you know that? I'm doing you a favour. I'm taking Damien out of your life. You may not appreciate that now, but you will thank me for this later. Two grand cash. I want it all up front. You'll get it as soon as Damien's in custody. How are you feeling? Sick. Used. Do you want me to go on? You're wearing a wire, so we'll be able to hear everything that's said. Right. You're clear about what you have to do. Yeah, I've got to give Damien the heroin. I try not to puke on his shoes and walk away. It's not heroin, Fran. It's been substituted. Well, talc, baking powder, whatever it is. You offer Damien the package. You tell him you're returning his heroin, you don't want any money, you just want him to take it and leave you alone. Tell him you're off it now and that you don't want it around. And if he asks, just tell him the truth. Tell him Rochelle gave it to you. The important thing is Damien has to take it from you, OK? You can't throw it at him or toss it through the car window or chuck it on the floor from the pickup. We have to see it pass from your hands to his. Got it? Yeah, got it. Have you got it? I've got it! Okay. 
Here he's in position. Banks is in position. We're just waiting for the target now, Gov. It's him. Gov, he's here. OK, thanks, Max. We're on. Radio silence, everyone. I don't know what she thought. Nothing clever. You're all right, Fran. You look frightened. I'm fine. It's yours. Just take it. Please. So you're shaking. Is that the only reason you came to see me tonight? Give me that. Too far. We all right with this? You want to go in? No. This is a song. You have to go in, Max. Martin's taking the package. Because I nearly didn't call you. I could have got the heroin to you some other way. You know what? I'm glad I didn't. Because now I've seen you. Pick it up. I've been lonely these last few months. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Hey, it's true. man I heard. Do you know that? No. No, I didn't. And there hasn't been anyone else since. Come on, let's, let's go somewhere. Brother, now. Listen, you call me off. Hang on. And we'll take this with us. We don't want to go and walk about again. For some good times. He's got it. He's got it. He's taking the package. Go, go, go. I'm arresting you for conspiracy to supply heroin. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. I've got no idea. Something that you later rely on court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You understand me? Is your son's name again? You lay a finger on him! Jamie's going to be an orphan. Shut up. I know this was tough for you today, Fran. No. What? I thought you cared. Listen, I'm just trying to be... OK. OK, you know what? That's the way you want to play it. Yeah, just give me my one, cos I want to get out of here. There you go. Two grand. You earned it. And the rest. Fran, wait, cos we need to talk about your protection. Protection? Are you kidding? After the way you've just let me swing in the wind. OK, I'm sorry about You're that. You're users. Joe, I don't trust you. I certainly don't trust him. I don't want you anywhere near me or now we're again. Fran, please, you're going to need protection. Just stay away! Is there anywhere? We could have handled that better, don't you think? Which part? Fran. I know she had a hard time back there, but if we had got in before Tucker took the heroin off her, he'd have walked. And how do you think she'd be feeling then? What about her protection? 
I'll take a car to empty for a while. Let her cool off, give her a call tomorrow. What's up, Joe? You look like someone just died. I just don't like what you did to her. I think you coerced her into this. Come on, result, Joe. A good one for us and for Fran. Try and look happy about it. See you tomorrow, Joe. I want you down the Jasmine Allen estate. We've got a young woman with serious head injuries. Do you know her? She's been beaten half to death, and her 12 year old son has gone AWOL. His name's Noah, by the way, and he's out there by himself. What was it you said about her son? Shame he's going to be an orphan. We need to find that kid quick. <laughs>